Hey Vogue. Hey Vogue. <laughs> Hello Vogue. Hey Vogue. Sorry, I was just picking at my blackhead. Hi guys, so last night I was doing my skincare routine and I started pretending I was in a Vogue Beauty Secrets video and I started giving a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to put moisturizer onto your skin. As I was doing that, I was like, how silly would it be if I filmed a video actually doing this? And then I was like, I'm not gonna do that. And then I was like, but I could though. And then I was like, no. No. And now here we are. I'm not gonna lie, I filmed this yesterday and put on the same shirt to film this introduction because I totally forgot to do that. I accidentally got carried away in this video. I was like doing it as a joke at first and then I started getting into it, so. If you see me transform into fucking makeup by Mario, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'm gonna go. So the difference between this makeup video and like my other videos that I've done where I kind of like do my makeup is the fact that I'm actually going to be kind of explaining what I'm gonna be doing. I used to like take my time with my makeup and I had like a lot of fun with it. It would take me like two hours to get my face done, which is insane, but, but when I do have the chance to take my time with my makeup, I like to shave because <laughs> we all got it. and clean my face with some micellar water. I wanna make sure I don't have extra stuff on my face. And now we're just gonna get into it. I like to put on some moisturizer. And then sunscreen. Everyone and their mother says this, but sunscreen is so important. Okay. So, I used to be a big foundation girl, and I think I've mentioned this before, but I used to like love foundation. Like, I would cake foundation on. It was like full coverage or nothing. I had my Born This Way foundation, and I would wear it every day. But now, I hate it. I don't like, I don't like having a lot of product on my face. I feel like a lot more confident when I don't have makeup on. Like, I just feel like clean. But on that note, I'ma cover up my bags. I've been using my Dior Forever Skin Corrector. Then I'm just gonna use a brush to blend it. I actually just got back from Paris a few days ago and it was so magical. My mom's drunk right now. I am. <laughs> I'll take it for the team. Okay, mommy, how would you rate your Paris experience? I went to 10. Yes. 11. Really? Yeah. Oh, mommy. I, I, I don't know. It was great. Oh, I mom. you when it was the world. Mama. You're so cute. You are so cute. Let's take a shot to that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, I was joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Being able to take my mom to experience all of that with me was the best ever. Um, I remember when I told her that she was coming with me, she started crying. It was so special because my mom has always wanted to go to Paris since she was little. Me being able to take my mom was just like a crazy feeling. And we got to go to the show together. It was so fucking cool. My concealer always kind of falls off, so I like to put powder under my eyes and it kind of just keeps it in place. I love a big powder brush, just gets gets all the areas. Me wearing a white shirt to do my makeup was very bold. I'm already getting makeup on it. God damn. Shorty got a big old boot. Ah! Next. So I put on like sprays, like face sprays, every chance that I get. I feel like they don't really do much, but I like to think that they do a lot. And I like to put them on in between every step, which I'm pretty sure wipes my makeup off. Next up, we got my eyebrows and I like to brush through them. Let's put on eyebrow gel and call it a day. <laughs> I like to get an eyebrow brush and I like to fill in like my little bald spots that I have. Don't look at my eyebrows. I need to take a Rihanna break really quickly. My attention span is like non-existent, so I need to take little breaks to like get myself focused again. Uh, and I like to play Rihanna. 
when I take those little breaks. Contour. Contour has been my best friend for years now. Me and Contour were like this. Okay. I like <laughs> I think that's what I need. I think I just need to yell. <laughs> I have been saying this for like 10 minutes now, but let's fucking contour girls. I used to have a contour brush for my nose that I loved. I like making my nose look like a little button and she always she was the perfect shape, the perfect size. I loved that contour brush. And then one day, I woke up, and I was there. I was ready to contour my nose. And she was broke. The glue fell apart, and the brush and the stick were no longer together, so she was... Anyways, so I would toss that bitch out. For years and years and years and years and years and years and months and months, I tried to look for a brush that could, like, you know, do what she did. And I just couldn't find it anything until I met this she is everything that I needed and wanted in a brush so this is how I contour my nose I like to grab a little bit of powder and I just kind of go in like a, a little circle around my nose and I just kind of go down my bridge and then I like to blend it into my eyebrow up here I didn't explain shit but it is the thought that counts for sure. I'm kind of like honestly almost done with my makeup. Um, I have a few steps left. Around this time, I like to put on lip plumper. And I like to put it on while I'm finishing the rest of my makeup so that when I come back to my lips and take it off, they look plump. A little something like that. For blush. Uh, I like to do a little bit of like cream blush under and then I like to put powder brush powder blush on top why can I speak today I don't fucking know I like to grab this like brown color that I have down here so I use this actually for my freckles which I kind of put all over my face so then I just kind of like to like <laughs> I drink a lot of coffee this morning and I don't know why I get it Sensory overload. It's like, babe, stop drinking coffee. But I sometimes like I forget that this happens to me. Anyways, <clears throat> I like to put powder blush on top of my makeup. Mm, I just kind of like putting it everywhere. This was actually my first purchase that I made on my own. So I saved up and I bought myself this Dior Glow Face palette. And I still have it to this fucking day. Like one of the fucking little highlight things is Dior's like watching this and is like. So we're gonna dip into this one for old time's sake. Like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. Um, but are you fucking kidding me? Look at this eyelashes. Let's curl them. Mascara time. And then I like to put some of my Dior Show waterproof mascara on top. I cry a lot, so. And I just kind of leave it like that. I feel like these are all like little important things that are a part of my makeup routine. I like to grab my eye palette again. And I grab this like dark brown color. And I drag out my eye. It kind of looks like baby eyeliner, but it doesn't look as harsh as like a black liner. That's what this looks like. Anyways, to wrap this all up, I finish with a lippy. I like to start off by lining my lips. I put lip gloss. So I'm using my Dior Lip Glow Oil. And then I top it off with a lippy. I like to put it on top. Now let me fix my hair. So I wanted to show you guys my French music is playing. I wanted to show you guys my makeup in natural lighting. I feel like the lighting out here is a little bit better than in the bathroom, so this is what it looks like. Anyways, that was the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you guys. Bye.